officers were called off. Deputy Wright says Spates drove by him roughly 100 miles per hour and began to follow the suspect. Spates' car then broke down and he jumped out of the car and took off running. While Spates was running, he fired an undetermined amount of shots in the direction of Deputy Wright, hitting him three times. And this is Jordan Spates, the suspect in the shooting. Winnebago County Police are still searching for him. He's still at large and considered to be armed and dangerous. Winnebago County Police are asking that anyone with information about him and his whereabouts to come forward. I'll be on the area's manhunt. It was a violent weekend in the city. There were several other shootings in Rockford that left several people hurt and one person dead. Just this morning, a woman was taken to the hospital after shots rang out just after midnight. It happened in the 4100 block of Auburn Street. The victim was taken to the hospital and is expected to be okay. No arrests have been made. And just a few hours later, 2.40 in the morning, another Rockford woman is shot. This time it happened in the 700 block of Newport Avenue. She was taken by ambulance to a local hospital. She is expected to be okay. If you have information, you're asked to call Rockford Police about this. And in another shooting last night in Rockford, a stray bullet hits a 27-year-old mother. That is very crazy, because how could you be a block away shooting at someone, and someone on the second floor one block away in their home and get, and get hit by a bullet? That bullet traveled over a block before it hit the woman. Police say teenagers began fighting in Key Malquist Park around 7 o'clock. Police say more than 10 shots were fired, and one of those managed to travel across a busy street, through trees, and into the second-story window of that apartment building the victim lives in. Because of the distance uh, and going through the foliage and the window, we feel that that's why that person is still alive today. And for the first time tonight, the father of the woman shot in the head is speaking out. Floyd Prunty says while his daughter survived, she is still in critical condition. He says doctors' main concerns right now the swelling from the wound. The night of the shooting, Prunty says some of his friends nearby called him saying there was a young woman who had been shot. He knew only two young women lived in that building. One of them was his daughter. I was so afraid that I ran off and left my car. I literally just ran. Left my car about a mile and a half away from here because I was at an event with some, some more veterans. Pronti says doctors removed the bullet from his daughter's head and they're waiting for her condition to improve. Winnebago County Board Chairman Frank Haney also spoke out about the increase in violence today. Chairman Haney says the help from the state is very welcome and appreciated, but he does not think it's a reason the public should fear for their safety in specific areas. Uh, in terms of the community, uh, number one, I agree with Chief O'Shea, the, the, the Rockford Police Chief, uh, when he says that if you are uh, somebody in our community that is doing good and, and going about your business, that you are relatively safe in our community. The past few weekends, we've seen a spike in violent crime in Winnebago County.